Hello, so in this video we're going to take a look at a hidden problem behind the scenes of driving tests and driving lessons at the moment that nobody is talking about. I'm going to explain how this will affect you whether you're a learner driver or a driving instructor or even someone who's becoming a driving instructor. This is going to be a major problem that is going to delay driving lessons, driving tests and instructor tests. So let's get straight into it. The problem is, although we keep talking about learner drivers having their tests delayed and having their lessons delayed, nobody's talking about driving instructors. When you train to become a driving instructor, there are three tests you have to pass. Now, this has got relevance for learners because I know a lot of people might be listening to this and thinking, well, this doesn't apply to me. It does. What I'm going to say now will affect everyone. So here's the problem. When you become a driving instructor, you have to pass three tests. Now, the waiting times for the second and third tests are normally around six months. Because of the pandemic, those waiting times have gone even longer now, and it's not unusual to be waiting one year, yes, a whole 12 months for a test. Now, you might be thinking, well, who cares, because I'm not training to become an instructor, and I'm just taking lessons, and I'm just taking a test. Well, this is having a knock-on effect on learners and even people who currently are driving instructors. Let me explain. You see, what's happening is that there are some examiners who are more qualified than others. They are known as DTAMs, Driver Trainer Assessment Managers. Those examiners normally only do instructor tests, and that includes the advanced driving test, the test of ability to teach, and also standards checks which is where they sit in the back of a car and they watch an instructor give a lesson to a learner driver or it can be a full license holder and they assess whether or not your teaching is up to standard. Now these examiners are more qualified than the standard examiner because they've been through an extra course and a lot of it is the psychological side of learning and teaching driving. As many of you will know, I also work as a hypnotist so I'm very much into the psychological and the mind side of driving myself, and that's what these examiners are more trained in. But what has any of this got to do with you? Why should you care about this if you're a learner and you're just looking to pass your test? Well, the thing is, 50% of the time that these examiners would normally spend doing instructor tests has now been allocated to doing learner tests. And you might think that's great news. You think, well, good, because there are more tests available, I'll get my test done sooner. The problem is though, that if you want to learn to drive in 2021 and even 2022, you're going to find it very hard to find a driving instructor. The thing is, the number of instructors has been falling quite rapidly over the last few years. There was also a baby boom in 2013, so all of those babies are now turning 17, 18 and they are wanting to take driving lessons. So we've got this perfect storm scenario where there are more people wanting to learn to drive than ever, there are less instructors than ever, and it's very hard for new instructors to come through the system because the waiting time for their tests is now over a year long. So what's happening is that driving instructors are finding themselves absolutely swamped with pupils. I've currently got twice as many people on my books as I can possibly teach. I'm having to put people on a waiting list and some people who are contacting me now may have to wait till the summer before they can even start. And that's assuming the lessons start up again in March. If lessons start up later than March, we could be looking at September before some people who want to learn to drive now can even begin driving lessons. So you see there is a massive shortage of driving instructors that won't get any better because many instructors simply can't come into the system and we can't get the test done quick enough to get new instructors into the system. And this is something no one's talking about. All of the focus is on learners and on driving tests, but this is kind of bubbling away behind the scenes in the background, and no one's talking about it, and it's becoming a real problem. The number of instructors is falling, the number of learners is rising, and I think a lot of people have this idea that in a few months' time from now, the vaccine will be out, things are going to start to improve and it will just be a case of go back to normal, book a test and pass. Well you need to realise the waiting time for driving tests could well be 
9 to 12 months. Now the other problem with all this is that the standard of instruction is falling. Every driving instructor is supposed to have a test every 2 to 4 years to prove that they are still at the required standard to teach people to drive. Now where I am in Birmingham, even before the pandemic began, they were two years behind on those tests. Yeah, two years behind schedule on doing those tests. So what are they going to do when things start to return to normal? They can either put more examiners into checking current instructors, which means their new instructors will have no chance of getting the test in anything less than about probably 14, 15, 16 months. Or they can start to clear the backlog of people that have been training to become instructors and that means that current instructors won't undergo their standards checks and the standards could be dropping and all of their badges could be expiring without them even having had a standards check. So you see, this is a real problem. I feel as though it's been hidden away, like I said earlier, and everyone's focusing on learners and driving tests. This is going to create a massive backlog. This could mean that no one can become a driving instructor in anything less than about 18 to 24 months. It might take up to two years for people to become instructors. So there are many reasons why the numbers of instructors and examiners are falling, and this is going to create a huge backlog. I estimate that driving tests won't be available anything less than about six months away. If you're lucky, you'll probably be waiting around eight, nine, ten months for a driving test. And if you want to become a driving instructor, you're probably looking at at least a year between each test. The DVSA are aware of this and they are doing all they can to address it, but I get the feeling that none of us are going to see the effects of this until things start to return to normal and then suddenly there's going to be this massive boom where all driving instructors are booked up for months, maybe six, seven, eight months ahead, and you simply won't be able to get driving lessons. So what do you think about this? How do you think it's all going to pan out? Let me know in the comments. Check out these other videos on the screen now. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.